Alright man, so I'm your basic working ass gamer, right? So we're gonna do a couple of let's plays on the Mass Effect trilogy on the PS3, so bear with me. The Elgato already doesn't get along great with the PlayStation 3, and to make it even worse, I'm streaming everything to my Mac. So it's being glitchy at best, okay? So We'll go through the character creation bit here um, only because I've done this probably four times this afternoon just trying to get everything to work right but uh, we will go through a couple of things here so I'm getting uh, pretty excited for Welcome Mass Effect Andromeda and figured I would go back through classified information the, uh, the old Mass Effects and anyway earn some trophies on my PlayStation 3 Secure connection. And I confirmed. played all of these originally on the place, or I'm sorry, on the Xbox 360 back when they first came out. And uh, I think I've played the other two even on the PS3 back in the day, but I never played this first one. And one of the trophy hunter guides that I found suggests that you run through the whole thing on Engineer the first go through. So that's what we're going to do. But in order to get there, you have to uh, enter a new ID here, custom mail, Please and then log in you're to able to do it. Profile. So we'll get through this. Sorry if I sound so bored. I've just already done this so many times this afternoon trying to make sure this all works together. And you have to like stick your left leg out and your ear lean into your shoulder and squeeze your asshole real tight for all this stuff to work really good. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm. I don't know why you have to go through all of that. One of the cool things I like here is uh, Earthborn. If you read through the description there, it just reminds me of like Judge Dredd and like the mega cities that are covering the Earth. So I picture, you know, all of these guys in the Alliance as being Confirm the lucky ones that were profile. able to get off the planet and escape all that. So, you know, it would almost be like peace outside of those cities. Soul survivors, give them a little PTSD. Confirm military specialization. And engineers, Confirm what's suggested, but man, it Pro sucks because you can only use the complete. pistols. But I guess you'll get really good at it. The other thing, too, is I'm keeping it on casual. Um, using pistols only, and as an engineer, man, you really. Yeah, there's no point in trying to make it more difficult than it has to be, at least in my world. I've already played this game, so. So this is a new channel. I've done some uh, previous stuff uh, with the PS4 built-in um, share factory and things, but I've got my computer up and running again, and I'm just now getting back into making gaming videos. So if you would, you know, like and subscribe, well, that would help me out a lot, Shepard? help my channel grow. Earthborn? I'm going to do these videos whether or not anybody's watching them or not. I'm, I do it because it's fun for me to do. I'm playing the games anyway. I do audio video for a living. I just thoroughly enjoy it. So, emotional scars. If you like gaming and you know adult humor, I guess. The kind of person we want. Subscribe to this channel, and you know we'll go through here and can protect the galaxy. Play some of this stuff, and hopefully create a community that'll be fun to be around and participate in. So, it says in the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization, right? So I'm not 100% sure what year this is supposed to be taking place in, like the actual game itself. I don't know. Uh, it's been so long since I've been involved in the Mass Effect world at all that transmission sequence you know I'm, I'm a little behind the times on it so if anybody knows that'd be great if you could comment on that a couple of other interesting things is I'll, I'll make fun of some of the things of this game especially early on in the game 
but I, I think I've kind of nailed down where the story went wrong early on and I do like this game right the original Mass Effect is very 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 unique um, the design of the characters the weapons the gameplay the mechanics I mean this is a very ground bait breaking and unique game especially you know what 10 years ago now this thing came out you know and I played this game the, the launch week that it came out on the Xbox 360 and you know I was I'm not gonna say I was completely utterly blown away by it but that was for different reasons uh, that was stuff that was going on in my life at that time when I was actually able to like relax and enjoy this game it was it was a good time and there was nothing else out there like it. Actually, it was um, a big complaint at that time was how small the first game was. It gets overlooked now. You know, we're getting ready for Mass Effect Andromeda to drop. You know, but this first game was was pretty popular, and people were just arguing that it was too short. There wasn't enough there, and you can really see it. You know, I mean, there's a lot of little details that are not filled in when you're playing through this game I mean there's a lot of stuff like you know like we're coming up on Eden Prime where is Eden Prime how do we you know what why is it relevant I mean there's so many questions and stuff that really never get answered which translates back to what I think the the problem with the storytelling in this game is is most stories will start you out in what's called like the normal world right before you know everything like falls to crap and this game doesn't really start you out in the normal world it it throws you into like the abnormal world immediately like so much so that this first mission will echo through the whole trilogy of games like almost every little bit of it you know um, Shepard's trying to become a specter so that that gets introduced like immediately we don't know what his normal routine was we don't know what the Normandy routine missions were. We have no idea. And you get that, Commander? I don't know. It just seems like they just, I don't want to say rushed into it. Um, it kind of feels a little bit like Destiny and Titanfall when they first came out where, you know, Respawn was, uh, for all intents and purposes, Infinity Ward. And, you know, they had to drop something to get some income, to get some revenue generated, right? You know, I mean, they had to get something out there. Now, BioWare wasn't necessarily in that position. They were coming off of a couple of pretty good hits back then. But, what about? you know, it still kind of feels like, man, they were in a rush to get this out. Maybe before the EA deal went through back then. I've never but, been there. it's just weird. We spend all this time right here with this character and you know spoiler alert he's gonna be dead in like five minutes you know and it's just silly you know some of the some of the decisions that were made here you know you, you throw like three major you know what are these guys Tarians or whatever they are three major alien characters into the game in the first 15 minutes and they all look fairly similar um, you know, I don't want to be like a alien racist, you know, it's good to know that humans will continue to be alien racist in the future, I suppose, but, I mean, you know, they, they all have a similar appearance, and, you know, the names are different, obviously, but, you know, like, why introduce this character here and give him such importance and then kill him right off the bat you know again it, it's the whole thing feels as if there was some earlier bit that we did not get you know like there was a um, maybe a first chapter that showed like the normal world you know that that they either cut due to time or maybe it was even worse than what this is or something but it just doesn't feel 100 percent finished and uh you know maybe that's maybe that's part of the charm here it never hurts to have a few extra hands on board the voice acting is, is superb all the way through um almost every character is is just absolutely superbly acted out I mean, and, and uh, throughout the whole trilogy really I mean that, that they really um, I don't want to even say raise the bar like they've said it 
like you know they're the example of what voice acting should be in a video game I mean it's just so well done they accept a human into their ranks whoever did the directing on this and you know the actual actors themselves and the cast I mean they just really outdid themselves even now I mean even now this still holds up pretty well your name forward as a candidate for the specters just tell me what I have to do I need to see your skills for myself commander Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You I know it the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany me. He's going to accompany me to observe, but he's just not going to be in my fire team. Like, <laughs> just, like, stuff like that is... Transmission from Eden why? Prime, sir. You better see uh, this. Here comes another one here in a minute. Number one, we don't know why we should even care about Eden Prime. You know, they have that short little dialogue right there between them. We don't know where Eden Prime is. And that becomes an issue later, and we don't know why we should care or why it's so shocking that they're getting attacked. I'm not going to go through the whole first mission on this Let's Play. I just wanted to get to like the basics of some of the stuff that's been rattling around in my dome about Mass Effect out and uh, see how well all of my equipment can work together to actually produce these things. Watch this though, I love this part right here. That Captain Anderson remembers exactly the point in the video where they need to go no back to witness this ship. It was only there for like dead. one second, right? But I guess he's operating at a super <laughs> seat, reverse and hold at 38.5. He's operating at a super genius capacity there. You see that, that's a common trope in movies, out, but no other in the area. it never ceases to amaze me how ridiculous fast. it is that somebody would say something like that. Unless they had watched it, you know, 10 or 20 times already. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. But again, right here, we're addressing things that are going to play out through the next three games off the bat. You know, they didn't do any kind of normal mode storytelling where you would set the normal world tone and then get into Gaging the stories. Systems. 